Well, the European Odyssey is an about 11 week program um, run by the Global Studies and Geography Department. This is 25th year and it's been run by um, Dr. Linda Longwire and Dr. Tim Smith. What makes it unique is that it's probably one of the only programs where you're moving a lot. We go to about 12 countries on average in about 28 cities. So that's moving every three days. And it sounds exhausting at first, but <laughs> you get used to it. Um, but that's what makes it an incredible program is that you get to see the big cities like you go to Paris and Rome and Barcelona, obviously, but you see the really small European cities that people who even live in those countries don't know about. So you go to Chesi Krumlov and Matera and it's you get to see really a wide range of Europe, which is very, very interesting. It's definitely intensive academically also. Um, we have classes wherever we can. So if we're in a hotel that has a big conference room, we're gonna have classes for three or four hours that day. And then you go out and you, ha you still have meetings with, we go for, to the United Nations, for example. So you have meetings with people at the United Nations, at the Human Rights Council and things like that. So it's academic and both like your professors are teaching you like a regular class, you'd be at Hofstra, but also you get to meet all of these professionals in their fields and talk to you directly about the problems facing Europe and we go to the Court of Auditors or like the problems facing the European Union and the Euro and it's very, very cool and that you're intensely emerged in all of these things. Well, this is my second time going on European Odyssey. The first time I went in 2013, so right now I'm returning as a peer teacher. And the reason why I guess we have peer teachers or we return is because it was a transformative experience. Well, my role as a peer teacher involved really um, being there for the students and being a connection between the professors and the students. Because I've done this before um, and we return to a lot of the same cities, I know where to go and I know where to, I know, I kind of know where to go, I should say. We do spend only three days in each city, but I'm more comfortable with it. I've done this before. I'm really there to give them a lot of advice, um, how to manage schoolwork and um, also seeing all these brand new cities, um, what to pack, <laughs> which is very important. The first time in, I came away with, this is a very grown up situation and um, it helps that you're mature and it helps that you understand that you're gonna be away from home a lot and you're not gonna be able to talk to your friends sometimes because the Wi-Fi doesn't always work the way it's supposed to everywhere. So you have to, you have to really, it, it makes you feel like an adult <laughs> before you get to graduate. It helps that my majors um, intersect a lot. So it's great that I can take a class that counts for global studies and geography and history also. So that really helps. And my majors complement each other in ways that um, other majors might not. And also it, it helps that I have really great advisors and teachers and um, Dr. Saf from the Global Studies and Geography Department is an asset, <laughs> obviously. And I talk to him all the time. And as a graduating senior, I'm very afraid of the future, obviously. <laughs> but I'm excited. Um, I'm gonna get my master's in geography and I wanna apply for a job at the United Nations or maybe work for an NGO. Um, this trip has made me realize that I definitely wanna keep traveling around the world. and. Um, I have, I speak um, about three different languages, so that helps, I hope. <laughs> so um, I plan on traveling around the world, helping people as much as I can, um, really making a difference. And this trip has really helped me realize that, which is so I'm really happy I went and I'm going again. I think it's crucial for um, students to have study abroad experience to go see the world. I think um, in this increasingly interconnected world, we are coming in contact with people that um, 50 years ago we never could have spoken to. So you're meeting, especially in the United States, you're meeting people from all around the world and it helps to their culture. You just become more compassionate and we're building, we wanna build a better world, not just a better United States. So it helps that we have an idea of what the, the rest of the world is thinking or looks like. We think it's so important for students to really get themselves out of their comfort zone and like, and get, to know a new culture and get to speak to people one-on-one -on -one because it's different when you see a movie about another country or even the news about another country. But when you're speaking one-on-one -on -one with someone, you build a connection and I feel like that's how you solve the world's problems. You build a one-on-one -on -one connection with someone.